Mirza Wahab Zafar, a journalist from Pakistan, is earning money by using pirated softwares such as Photoshop, uh, uh, Illustrator or any other cracked software, it is, haram. is it haram? A similar question is asked by Abdul Mukit from Lahore, Pakistan. Is using pirated software such as Photoshop and Microsoft Word haram? Be notified that they are being used for educational purpose and are really expensive. Plus, there are no copyright laws here in Pakistan. Also, what about pirated games? Can we play them? The basic question is that can we use pirated software or pirated products? Is it permitted in Islam? If we know early history, centuries before, you know, when uh, after the Prophet, after the demise of Prophet Muhammad, the hadiths were written down and, and there were scribes wrote down. Regarding this question, many fiqh councils have come together and discussed this issue. According to the Fiqh Council of, of uh, Muslim World League in Makkah Mukarama, also the Fiqh Council of Jeddah, they said that previously when people used to write the hadith of the scholars of the Muhaddisin, so that the original copy, in case it is lost, this preserves it. So it was an act of sawab and it used to take days and weeks and years to write down. At that time, centuries before, when there was no printing press, the, all these acts of copying works of great scholars was act of blessing and it used to spread the message. But now printing has, has come and technology has improved. We can print books, the thousands of copies, tens of thousands of copies. And now there are many people, if a scholar has spent, it's the opposite now. If a scholar has spent years together in doing some research and there's a person who prints his book in tens of thousands and sells it, by pirating it, this is totally haram. So what previously was act of sawab to preserve the work of scholars, today, if you copy it, if it has a copyright, if it doesn't have a copyright, like my books have got no copyright. Anyone copies it, I said you'll get sawab. Anyone makes videos of mine, no copyright. As long as please don't change it, yet people change it. So as far as my products are concerned, I have got no copyright. Anyone copies my videos and circulates it, he will get sawab. But those people who have spent a lot of time, and if, the, if that is the bread and butter, and, and if they have put a copyright on it, so anyone copying that, it becomes haram. Even according to Sheikh Utaimi, when the question was asked, that can you copy things which have got copyright? Can you use, cop can you use software which are copyright? He said, if you take a book, and if you make few pages photocopy for your personal use, accept it, but not for mass circulation. As far as using, using uh, pirated software, it is haram. If that software has got copyright and if there are copyrights on it for using for personal reason or for office pur purpose or for educational purpose, if it has a copyright, someone had put an effort on it, he wants, he wants to compensate by getting a part of the money and if you copyright, you do it yourself, it is haram or if you buy pirated software, the person by buying pirated software, you are encouraging him to pirate it. I am aware that you can buy in Pakistan with few hundred rupees pirated software. If you want to buy original, you may have to pay 10,000, 20,000 rupees. If that software has got copyright, buying pirated software or copying copyright software in Islam, it's haram. I'm aware that many, many of the Muslims do it. Some are doing unknowingly, some are doing knowingly, according to Sheikh Otaimi and, and according to Fiqh Council, using pirated software is haram. If you can't afford it, don't use it. You cannot use pirated because it is as good as cheating or robbing someone of the intellectual property.